hello everyone it's me is yes, welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the process of editing this type of photo and this one is the stock photo i just collect this one from the dvnr.com and i'll provide you that photo link for your practice purpose so here the image and i'll edit this one with the camera filter and how to edit that and i'll provide you that preset uh, which i just got the final result from here so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first press ctrl j and then go to the filter camera filter so you know that camera filter is a plugin of the photoshop cc and cs version so if you are the user of the cs version you have to download it and set it up in a manual way so if you want to get the download link please check out my video description and if you are the user of the cc that means creative cloud any kind of creative cloud version you are getting this one by default in your filter menu i'll just edit this one at first in a basic panel i'll add some like exposure like that and then contrast little bit and highlight i'll make it a little bit down so and shadow i'll provide the shadow like that and the whites i'll make the whites a little bit dim and blacks i'll increase the blacks from here temperature i'll make the temperature like that and the tint a little bit like this so after that the clarity i'll make it uh, like two or three that's good and the vibrance and that is like that the saturation will make it a little bit down so after that i'll go to the hsl panel from here from the hue saturation luminance you know that the hue is a color built and you will get all the colors of over here suppose red started from the pink and just end in a like yellow or orange so orange started from the red and just end in a yellow yellow started in orange and end in a green green started with a yellow and end in a aqua so you are getting like that the color belt which type of color in your photograph it will define with the hue and if i make the red color like this it will be like orange type color so you can make it like that and orange i'll make it like yellowish that's good and here i'll make the blue color hue that is like a little bit this type of and the aqua i'll make it like that that's good and from here saturation all the thing is good i don't touch this uh, like saturation that's good the luminance i'll make the luminance of the orange and the yellow up just because of the face color and from here the detailing options i'll add some sharpening but in this image you are getting some noise over here so how to remove that here is a noise portion i will remove the noise like that and here is the color portion and i will make the smoothness like this you are getting the effects like this and then the here the split toning if you get the saturation like 13 or 15 that's good and i will make the color of the highlight that will be like this i want to tell something the uh, split toning the color of the highlight and color of the shadow that define with the split toning so you can add any kind of color here and it will define the color of the highlight so highlight color here is the uh, like a uh, uh, pink color so you can add any color like this so i'll add color like that and the shadow color that will be like aqua so saturation will increase and it will be like this that's fine and now lens correction issue no lens correction issue in this photo if you have you can use that so here the dehaze option i'll make it a little bit dehaze and highlight some vignet a little bit that's good and the camera calibration i'll make the camera calibration like this and saturation will be like that and this like that so make it yeah that's good and the hue uh, blue primary color you are getting three primary color in a camera calibration tab 
red primary green primary and blue primary so from here i made the hue of the red primary color that is like this and the green like this and the blue primary color it will be like that so after that uh, i'll add some like noise reduction and the color as well so the color detail that will be like this so let's see the before one and after one you are getting like that so here i'm getting the before and after image like this here i'll add some like highlight down and here the tone will be like this the temperature and tint so tint will be like this that's good now my image is ready and let's see the before one and after one you're getting the before was like that and after one you're getting like that i'll save these settings and i'll provide these settings to you in my video description so here is small menu save settings options and save it out and i'll just save here like uh, light so i save this one and hit ok before one and after one you're getting like that so after that filter nick collection and color effects pro 4 i do love to add this one any kind of effects from the nick collection you know nick collection is a another plugin of the photoshop and uh, lots of presets or lots of filters over here you can add any kind of extra look or uh, you can add any kind of filter in your photographs when you are editing like that from here i'm using the cross processing and from here lots of method which one is convenient and which one is perfect for your photographs it will just define with you so i'm using here l02 and hit ok it will take time to load it up and provide you the final output yeah that's fine the before one was like that and after one you're getting totally professional look so which piece that i just saved it out and let's apply this one in another photo go to the file and open up here another photo another stock photo from unsplash.com and press ctrl j you're getting a new copy of the photo filter camera filter so after that here is a small menu go to the load settings options from here i just made this preset light and open it up so you're getting look like that so you're getting the look before one and after one so in this photo you are getting like that uh, you should use this type of photo and it will give you the best mileage or like a best output in your photographs so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of this piece set, please check out my video description and as well as the camera filter until the next video, I am Samy signing out today. Bye-bye.